Hi, my name is Raylan Baxter. You're watching Favorites on Live in Limbo. My favorite fan interaction moment at a concert was about one month ago in Anchorage, Alaska. And uh, I sang a song called The Woman For Me. And it's on my first album called Feathers and Fish Hooks. And I forgot the words to the second verse. So the, the dude comes up. On, I was like, you want to come up on stage and, and help me finish the song? And he did. And he killed it. It was a special moment. The audience... I saw the audience reacting, and it kind of t- tied it all in, you know. Uh, they were, they were, there were some girls doing the, oh, that's so cute. And his buddies were chanting him, cheering him on. Young Man, it's from this last album, Imaginary Man. It's just a ripper. We get to play it really loud, and I just crank all my guitar pedals to 10. And it's, I think the rest of the band does as well. I wouldn't, sp- I wouldn't say that there's one specific song. Uh, from the moment we get on stage, there has to be a connection. Um, and so I would say the entire set is that. My favorite artist right now is Dylan LeBlanc. He is a fantastic singer-songwriter from... I'm not sure if he's from Muscle Shoals, Alabama or Louisiana... He's actually playing at the Drake Hotel tonight, and his he has he's a he, what he how he emotes via songwriting and singing is just it's what I like it's my bread and butter. My favorite method of discovering new music and artists would probably be word of mouth, friends. Just they'll tell me to listen to something, and I'll go listen to it. I, yeah, I th- maybe repetition, maybe. Um, you know, with the knee surgery, you had to go through six months of physical therapy to get back to strength. That was an everyday thing. And I think with guitar playing, you know, you have to play it every day to improve at your craft or with any craft for that matter. You know, you got to do it all the time. Smoke weed. My favorite lesson, the most important lesson is patience and, you know, looking at the everything around me and noticing that most of it is completely out of my control and just going with the flow. Uh, it's important because you shouldn't get hung up on the stuff that you shouldn't be getting hung up on, like the weather and other people's problems. I own, as a gift from my father, it's a 19. 19- Early 50s uh, Gibson acoustic guitar, an LG1, and uh, it's, a, it's, it's my buddy. My favorite accomplishment is learning how to play the guitar solo in Terrapin Station. Uh, it's just the best guitar solo ever. But the most ve- memorable venue as of, as of today... Up to today would be the Ryman Auditorium in Nashville, Tennessee, the Mother Church. It's where the Grand Ole Opry used to be. It's where just legendary artists, especially some old country uh, artists, like some of my favorites, Ray Price, Buck Owens, George Jones, all those guys uh, have played there multiple times, and so their, their spirits still exist there. Plus, you know, I've seen Feist play there, and Ryan Adams, and um, Sting. And Dave Chappelle. What's up, Dave? 